let's take a look at what it um, means to solve algebraically for a root of a function. We know that the root is where it crosses the x-intercept. And notice on the graph, if I have a graph, all these points right here, what is my value for y? I know that my value of x is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, but it's negative 3 and my y value is 0. At this point, I have negative 1, 0, and at this point here, I have 3, 0. So I can notice a pattern here. I notice that all my y values on my roots are 0. So now we're going to apply that same logic algebraically. If I know that my y value is 0 and it's going to give me the root, that's exactly what I'm going to do up here. So I'm going to substitute in for my output 0 and I'm going to solve this algebraically to find my root. So I subtract 6 on both sides, additive inverse. I get negative 6 equals 1 half x. To get x by itself, I use the multiplicative inverse. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 over 1. And I get negative 12 equals x. I apply the symmetric property to get x equals negative 12. And that's my answer. I have one solution to this example. And x equals negative 12. So where does it cross the x-axis? It crosses it at negative 12. Let's try one more. Let's say I have 2x minus 8. Same logic. I know that my 0 is going to be, my y is going to be 0, so I plug in 0 for y, and I solve for x, so I add 8 to both sides, additive inverse. I get x equals 2x. T, put your chair down. And then I divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 4. So there is one solution to this equation.